Cultivation Practices of Paddy Part 1 Introduction Overview The following video contains these topics. Botanical Description The scientific name of paddy is Oriza sativa. It belongs to the family Poaceae and is commonly called as paddy. It has originated in India and Africa. It is a hydrophyte and an annual herbaceous species. Root The primary root emerges on germination followed by two additional roots. Adventitious roots are then produced from the basal nodes of the primary stem and tillers. The young roots are white, thick, short and relatively unbranched. Later, they branch freely and become flaccid and brown. The roots can grow under low oxygen concentrations. During the vegetative phase, the roots are positively geotropic, but at the time of root initiation, they grow horizontally and upwards to produce a dense surface mat, giving more stability to the plant. Stem, known as culm. It is erect, cylindrical, hollow at the internodes and solid at the nodes. Internodes are shorter at the base and become progressively longer at the top. Leaves They alternate on the stem in two ranks. The leaf sheath encircles the whole or part of the internodes. The leaf blade is long and narrow with spiny hairs on the margins. Inflorescence a loose terminal panicle is seen which is 10 to 30 cm long. It may be erect or drooping. The base of the peduncle is enclosed in the sheath of the flag leaf. Flower The spikelets are born on the secondary rachis. They occur in singles. They are laterally compressed on a short pedicel and is subtended by two sterile glooms which are lanceolate in shape. The lemma is tough, large, boat shaped, strongly five nerved. The apex is solid or awned. The pelea is narrower than lemma and is strongly three nerved. The perianth is modified and restricted to small fleshy portions called lodicules. Andrisium. There are six stamens and the filaments are slender. The anthers are basifixed. Gynetium. A single ovule pistil is seen with two plumostigma. Self-pollination occurs in rice. The fruit is caryopsis and the seed is endosperm. About cereals. Cereals belong to the family Graminae. They are grown for their edible starchy grain called caryopsis. The word cereals has been derived from Ceres, name of a Roman goddess, which means giver of grains. Importance It is a staple food crop for more than 60% of the world. In other countries, it is seen as attractive ready-to-eat products, which have long shelf life, like popped and puffed rice. Protein is present in aluron and endosperm, from 6 to 9 percent. Rice straw is used as cattle feed, is used for thatching roof and in cottage industry to prepare hats, mats, ropes, sound absorbing straw boards and it is also used as litter material. Rice husk is used as animal feed in a paper making and fuel source. Rice bran is used in cattle and poultry feed. Defatted bran which is rich in protein can be used in the preparation of biscuits and as cattle feed. Rice bran oil is used in the soap industry. Refined oil can be used as a cooling medium like cottonseed oil or corn oil. Rice bran wax, a byproduct of rice bran oil, is used in industries. In India, the total geographical area is 323 million hectares. Rice is grown in 42.7 million hectares, constituting 30% of net cultivated area, of which 142.2 million hectares 
of this 93% is cultivated during Kharif season. In Telangana, the total geographical area is 114.84 lakh hectares and the net cropped area is 49.61 lakh hectares. Area and production of rice in Telangana Area is 20 lakh hectares and rice is produced in 66.22 lakh hectares. Some widely grown rice varieties in Telangana are Origin Classification There are 24 species of genus Oriza. The two cultivated species are Oriza sativa and Oriza glabarima. Oriza sativa is cultivated in Asia, America and Europe, whereas Oriza glabarima is cultivated in West Africa. There are three subspecies of rice, Indica, Japonica and Javanica. The rice grown in India belongs to the Indica subspecies. They are characterized by having leaves slightly pubescent and pale yellow in color. Indicas are onless or possess short and narrow arms. The fruit is caryopsis which is elongated, thin, narrow and slightly flattened. Japonica The variety developed in Japan belongs to this subspecies. These varieties are adapted for cultivation in subtropical and warm temperate regions. Japonica varieties mostly have oval and round grains. They may be on or onless. The leaves are narrow and dark green in color. Javanica They are characterized by a stiff straw, long panicle with on grains, sparse tillering habit, long duration, and low sensitivity to difference in day length. They are found mainly in Indonesia. Rice growing areas in India can be grouped into five regions. Northeastern region comprises of Assam, West Bengal, South Bihar and Orissa. Rice is grown in the basins of Brahmaputra, Ganga and Mahanadi rivers and it is known for the highest intensity of cultivation in the country. This region enjoys heavy rainfall and mostly rice is grown under rain-fed conditions. Southern region This comprises of deltaic traits of Godavari, Krishna and Kaveri and non-deltaic rain-fed areas of Tamil Nadu and Andhra Pradesh. Rice is grown under irrigated conditions in the deltaic regions. West Coast region This comprises of Kerala and the coastal districts of Karnataka and Maharashtra. There is heavy rainfall during the monsoons and rice is grown under rain-fed conditions. Central region comprises of Madhya Pradesh, Telangana and parts of Karnataka. In Andhra Pradesh, rice is grown as rain-fed crop by broadcasting in this region. Northern region comprises of Jammu and Kashmir, Punjab, Uttar Pradesh and North Bihar. These areas have low winter temperatures and only a single crop of rice is raised from May-June to September-October. Climatic Requirement Rice can be grown in different locations under a variety of climates. The Indicas are widely grown in tropical regions. Japonicas which are adapted to cooler areas are largely grown in temperate countries. Both Indica and Japonica rice are grown in subtropical regions. However, their crosses grown throughout the world. Rice needs hot and humid climate. It is best suited to regions which have high humidity, prolonged sunshine and an assured supply of water. Temperature, solar radiation and rainfall influence the rice yield by directly affecting the physiological processes involved in a grain production and indirectly through diseases and pests. 
agro climatic zones of telangana there are three agro agro climatic zones northern central and southern growth stages of rice there are six growth stages of rice name temperature extreme temperatures are destructive to plant growth and hence depend on the environment under which the life cycle of the rice plant can be completed the critical low and high temperatures for rice are normally below 20 degrees celsius and above 30 degrees celsius which vary from one growth stage to another the critical temperatures for different growth stages of rice are tabulated temperature affects the grain yield by affecting tillering spikelet formation and ripening it also influences the growth rate just after germination and increases almost linearly with increasing temperature within a range of 22 to 31 degrees celsius at later stages it slightly affects tillering rate and the relative growth rate during reproductive stage the spikelet number per plant increases as the temperature drops solar radiation the solar radiation requirements of rice crop differ from one growth stage to another shading during vegetative stage affects yield and yield components shading during reproductive stage has a pronounced effect on spikelet number during ripening it reduces grain yield considerably because of the decrease in the percentage of filled spikelets solar radiation at the reproductive stage has the greatest effect on grain yield rainfall under rain fed rice culture rainfall is the most limiting factor in rice cultivation when irrigation is provided the growth and yield is determined by temperature and solar radiation water stress at any growth stage may reduce the yield the rice plant is more sensitive to water deficit from the reduction division stage to heading day length rice is a short day plant long day prevents or delays flowering soils rice is a semi aquatic plant and grows best under lowland condition in india it grows in almost all types of soils alluvial red lateritic laterite black saline alkali pt and marshy soils and in acid soils but If soil is having good retention capacity with good amount of clay and organic matter it is ideal for rice cultivation clay and clay loam soils are best suited it tolerates a wide range of soil reaction from 4.5 to 8 ph it grows well in soils having the ph range of 5.5 to 6.5 it can be grown in alkali soil after treating it with gypsum or pyrites